Um, so my topic is about um, frequency and, and staying on topic. And I don't mean to finger point, but Guy Kawasaki, I love his tweets, but he's crowding the airwaves, if that's even possible, on Twitter. What's your sense about being annoying and... Sure. So. <laughs> uh, I love Guy. I don't know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> So the most amazing thing to me about social media and these platforms is one thing. It is 100% spam free. And people don't realize that, but it's true. You don't like Guy Kawasaki? Don't follow him. You'll never see him again. He'll never be in your feed. And I think that we tend to forget that. It's just I'm really very vigilant about unfollowing. Like I'll, I'll follow anybody, but if they start spamming or doing things that aren't in line with what I'm about, they're gone. And so yeah, I have people who constantly send me those greeting cards on Facebook and I don't really know them and I remove them from my wall and I delete them. They're not worth following for me. So I'm a big believer in, in, in that world of just simply let them, because there are people who actually love guys too. They love getting them, they love connecting them. So that's for that person, not for you. But the frequency of it, like the hiring of so the that, team so, to... so the frequency, so, so that's what I was getting to when I talked yeah. a little bit about the pulse. Yeah. And I, I gotta tell you, it's something that I, I personally struggle with still every day because I think that I don't tweet enough. I think that I blog too much. And I sort of like really try and figure out like what the temperature is. The challenge with it is I don't want to be inauthentic about it. So I don't want to suddenly be like a, the New York Times where I have to publish every day, the news must be there. So I'm, I'm trying to create that balance. And I, I do think it's one of those your mileage may vary. Like it depends, I think it's incumbent on the individual to figure out what the right pulse is to put content out there and how it works. So like a great example is Avinash Kaushik. Does anyone follow Avinash? Avinash is the analytics evangelist at Google and he writes these really awesome blog posts but he does it once a week. And he's a huge blogger and it's like, wow, can you imagine this guy's got a tremendously popular blog, he only does it once a week, I mean that's like insane. But it, it, that's his pulse and it works really well for him. So again, it's like, it works for him.